Hi, this is Shirley Caruso, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert your PowerPoint presentations into Shockwave Flash video and then have them play on your wiki space. One way to do this is to upload to OneDriveLive.com. But the problem with that program is that if, depending on how much narration, voice narration, animation, and special effects you have built in to your tutorials, some of that could be lost. So this is a workaround, but it will require that you download a tool called iSpring 3.7. You can see I've already downloaded iSpring 3.7 here, and it becomes part of your PowerPoint. It becomes another tool for you to use. You can download this tool at www.ispringsolutions.com and it is completely free. I've had it downloaded on my laptop for several years and I have not had any types of problems with viruses or anything like that. So it is completely free for you to use and it's a very useful tool. Let me show you just how it works. So I have a couple of things on this sample presentation. I have a graphical user interface with hyperlinks that go to the various points in my slide. I also have a animation that's built in. When I click the can of soup, it goes into the bag. When I click on the loaf of bread, it goes into the bag. And there's also some voice narration associated with this slide. On this slide, I have some voice narration and then I have an animation where the telephone rings. So what I need to do now is I need to click on iSpring 7. I'm going to say Publish. And I'm going to leave the settings as they are. I'm going to say that I want to publish all the slides and I want the output to be a desktop flash. And I'm going to designate here where I want that file. And just for ease of location, I'm going to choose the desktop. Publish. And it takes a few seconds to publish your slides. I can see that it has downloaded onto my desktop in a folder called PowerPoint Presentation. So now what I want to do is I want to go back to my wiki space. I'm going to open a new page or add a page for this presentation. I'm just going to call it uh, Sample Icebring. And now I'm going to upload those files. So I'm looking for them on my desktop. Here it is, PowerPoint presentation. And I am going to select all of those so that they will all copy. Okay, now here we see that they have uploaded. And now what I would like to do is to give the learner some sort of direction on what to do on this slide. So I will say, please take this tutorial and the assessment.
when you are finished, please, and whatever you would like them to do next. And you might want to make this a little bit bigger, bold text, or however you want to give them some directions. And the next thing I want to do is insert the Shockwave Flash file. So I go to File, and you can see here uh, it is this one with the extension .swf for Shockwave Flash. So I'm going to insert it right there. And I may need to uh, resize this frame just a bit. I can adjust it later after I see exactly how it looks. Maybe I want to even center it. I'm going to save it. Welcome to Effective Communication, a computer-based tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to see if everything is working. Okay, everything... All these are working. Welcome to Effective Communication, a computer-based tutorial. And I know I have some of these more sophisticated slides. Be sure to bag heavy items like cans of soup first. Lighter or more fragile items like loaves of bread go last. Click on the can of soup in this picture so it will go in the bag first. Then click on the loaf of bread so it will go in the bag last. Then go to the next slide. Okay, so that is working. That is working. Part of your job responsibility will be to answer the telephone. Please answer it in no more than two rings. Click on the telephone in this picture to familiarize yourself with the sound of the ring. The telephone will ring twice when clicked. Then. Go to the next slide. Okay, everything seems to be in order here. So, if you are willing to download this iSpring tool that loads right into your PowerPoint presentations, you will be able to preserve all of the animation and all of the sound that you have put, worked so hard to put into your tutorials. I hope this has been helpful. See you next time.